New at 11, the state's largest town is no longer a town, it's now a city. Nearly 70,000 people live in Framingham, and after more than 300 years as a town, voters have decided to rewrite history. WBZ's Ken McLeod tells us why. As the last evening commuters rolled back into Framingham, the last few voters trickled in. The town government around here is a bit of a joke, and there's no accountability. I want to stay a town because I don't feel like this charter is equitable. The charter he's talking about converts Framingham from a town to a city. Framingham's last effort to go city was 20 years ago, and 68% of the voters rejected it. Since then, this place has swelled to more than 70,000 residents, making it by far the biggest town in the state. What's the big deal? Well, the yes forces argue the current combo of town manager, selectmen, and sparsely attended town meetings might have worked in the 1700s, but doesn't have the teeth or agility to govern today. It's very romantic but it is not particularly efficient or effective in managing a $300 million municipal corporation. But opponents fear that installing a mayor, 11-member city council, and school board puts too much power in the hands of a few, even if those few are elected. Switching to city status takes people's voice away. And tonight, the pro-city troops won in a squeaker by only 100 votes. This mother believes it'll make a difference. Um, the hope was with better representation on higher levels of government, the schools will get a little more attention. Elections will come in the fall, and next January, this sign will say city limits. In Framingham, Ken McLeod, WBZ News.